All right, moments away from here in the President of the United States, North, Republic, uh, North Dakota Republican Senator John Hoven. What do you make of, of all of this? What do you think, Senator? Well, I think it's a uh, good step. Yesterday, we've got the agreement in principle with the EU to reduce tariffs, to expand trade, uh, soybeans, energy, other things. So uh, a very positive step yesterday. Do, do we have something in place? I know that's a goal. They're going to buy more soybeans. We're going to buy more liquid natural gas. And anything is better than what we have now. I understand that. But is it a big, big deal? Or do you know much about it? Well, I was up there yesterday at the White House when it was announced. We were there for the announcement. And then we sat down with the president in the Roosevelt Room afterwards and went through that and, and just trade in a broader sense. We had Sonny Purdue, the ag uh, right. secretary there, to talk about that piece of the equation for our farmers and ranchers. But it's a big deal in this sense. It clearly states that we're not going to have a trade war. We're actually going to put our teams together, a team from the EU and from the U.S., and they're going to work on an agreement to reduce tariffs, expand trade. And they highlighted some of these areas, as I mentioned, soybeans, energy, other areas as well. Now, um, the president has committed $12 billion uh, to help farmers adversely affected by even the talk threat of tariffs. Do uh, you think that was a good idea? I'm supportive of it. Remember, the goal is to get better agreements, better trade agreements, and get them in place as quick as we can. To that uh, objective. I talked to the president specifically yesterday. How soon can we get NAFTA going? We're still talking about early fall. So the the assistance is a short-term measure because our farmers are hit disproportionately by these retaliatory tariffs. The goal is to get these better trade agreements in place, whether it's EU, China, uh, you know, obviously NAFTA, and, and and we need to keep pushing to get that done. You know what's weird though? It's like it was a. a a commitment to help farmers who are adversely affected by tariffs they never wanted to see. And I'm thinking to myself, right. Senator, this sometimes happened where a thought comes up that might make sense, that other industries uh, are going to want and, and expect the same treatment. Does that worry you? Well, that's why we have to continue to emphasize that the goal is better trade agreements and getting them in place as soon as we can. But we also have to recognize that the first place where we get these retaliatory tariffs are against our uh, our farmers, our, our ag exports. We have a very big positive bounce of trade in ag commodities, and that's why they get hit first and get hardest. So, again, it's a temporary measure. We want the trade agreements, but it also sends a signal to our trading partners that the administration is serious about getting better deals and, and you know, getting them in place. We're trying to work to keep that process moving because, as you say, it affects not just farmers and ranchers, other industry sectors, too. And we want markets. We want trade. That's the objective. Um, you know, sir, you mentioned the president is serious about this. I have no doubt he is. I, uh, but I do wonder that he's showing a little bit more pragmatism, and that is when it comes to this trade issue, his bark might be worse than his bite, that he, he, he looked forward to continue to work with the Europeans, um, even hold off on certain tariffs until they can deal with this stuff now. And I know there have been disappointments before. We had cobbled together something similar with China a few months ago, and it all fell apart. But what do you think of his approach to these issues? Well, he was very upbeat yesterday. He is a good negotiator. This is a step. It's a clear uh, step forward with the EU, which is a huge market, saying we're not going to have a trade war. We're going to expand trade, and we're putting together our best people to go to work right now to figure out how we get that done. But again, I came back to said, great, good step, but how about NAFTA? We've got to keep this moving. Can we still get that done early fall? He indicated that's realistic. So I go back to... I'm sorry, Senator. When you said he said that's realistic, the NAFTA, I think, most people have been focused on a bilateral movie might make just with the new Mexican leader um, and not necessarily right. with Canada. Was that your understanding that it would be just Mexico and the U.S.? It could go in that sequence in that he says the negotiations with Mexico are going very well. So, yeah, I get the sense it could be something with Mexico first. So it is a little weird that we might have better relations with this new liberal. Well, Some have called him a socialist uh, than we do the guy north of us. Right, Neil, but think that may put some real pressure on Canada then to come yeah. around and get the deal done, right? Yeah. Um, how do you think it stands right now on some of the other things you want to see, the economy? We could get a strong GDP report for the second quarter. How do you feel about Republicans' prospects in November now with all of that? 
Well, that's why I keep working on this trade piece, because if you take the tax relief, the regulatory relief, and we start to get these trade agreements in place, boy, that, that is a, you know, our economy is going to be very strong. That helps people where it counts right in their pocketbook, you know, higher wages, keeping more of their pay, economic growth. Uh, so that's why we're working so hard on these things. You know, Senator, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Chinese reaction to this European deal and the, what the Chinese have been calling a strong-arming approach on the part of this administration, uh, and that they won't be bowed by that. Um, I could go on and on, but that was the, the, the gist of the, the yeah. Chinese trade minister's reaction. What did you make of it? Well, that's why we have to stand up to China. Look at what they're doing. They're violating our copyright laws, our patent laws. They're not, uh, they're not being fair in terms of how they trade, the tariffs, other barriers. So we need them to come around and, and really treat us fair. Remember, it's free trade, it's fair trade, reciprocal trade. And uh, they, they need to work with us, and, and hopefully they, they're starting to recognize that. I know you can't give away secrets, but when, when you were meeting with the president, did he say that this is sort of like triangulating the Chinese, that, that what he is putting together with the Europeans was a way to sort of push the Chinese into a corner? And would you welcome that? You know, he, his whole life, he has done negotiations on deals, and, and he's negotiating. And again, we are concerned in the short term about the impact of the tariffs and so forth in our, our industry sectors. Obviously, that's why he's taken the step with agriculture. But, you know, he's trying to negotiate better deals, and ultimately, that's what we want. Senator, always good having you. Thank you very much.